Good afternoon, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Monday, October 2nd, 2017 at 1.22 p.m. Mountain Time. Cosmic Close Shave Update. Asteroid 2012 TC4 that passed us in 2012 is back for another visit this week. A space rock the size of a house will zoom terrifyingly close to the planet. Here we see the current trajectory numbers and the distance from Earth at 27,300 miles. When this was announced earlier in the year, uh, back here, they had it uh, in July. They had it at 6,800 kilometers, a little bit more uh, terrifying. But do not despair, folks. NASA has it covered. NASA developed something uh, down here, this... I'm going to give you a run by here. It's a device that is uh, meant to deflect the asteroid. So you come in with this millions of dollars worth of stuff and you jam it onto the rock here. It makes a little puff and that saves all the people on Earth. Notice the small puff here. There, yeah, we're all safe. You want to watch it again? Here it comes. Here comes the giant rock and then billions of dollars explode on the surface and we're all safe. Isn't that awesome? We're all safe, folks. Thank you, NASA. What a ridiculous pile of swag that is. Let's talk about the reality of asteroid impact and what we need to know, okay? I'm going to show you what happens when an asteroid hits the ocean. First, it forms this cone of depression called the transient crater. And this is coming right from Los Alamos. And then the splash current. And then it rises. The water jet. Now, what happens with the water jet is it collapses to form a rim wave that is hundreds of feet high. And then this process oscillates. So the first rim wave can come out at a, the size of a quarter of a mile and then continue. Now, if when this happens, it releases vapors into the atmosphere. And bottom left, you can see the vapor chart here increasing during the impact. This all goes into the stratosphere. Here's the hypothetical stratospheric line. And then this causes a, a, a small nuclear winter. A catastrophic cloud cover, high albedo, cooling, torrential rains, catastrophic and biblical flooding. While the, the shorelines are being inundated by a rim wave that is hundreds of feet high. On land, it's more catastrophic. There's a shock wave and there's dust. And on and on. So those are the facts of what a small rock like that would actually do if it hit the ocean or the land. It would be quite catastrophic. We have uh, historical records of similar objects. Most recently, the Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia. And there's uh, I have video footage of this. This is what happened on February 15th, 2013. A large rock similar to the size that's going to pass us in uh, just this October. Take a look. Came in, and they called this a super bolide. It's called a super bolide because it's super bright. It's an extremely bright meteorite. Left a huge tail. Check out the tail there. And this is also the same as Tunguska. If you don't know about Tunguska, um... You can find links uh, in the articles, which I will can put in the description box. So here's a similar meteor entering Earth. Boom, lighting up and disintegrating before it hits the surface here because of a plasma discharge from the planet, which helped to save the people in this area. Uh, an arc, the, the electrical charge causes this to burn up right there. Bye-bye. So it disintegrated in plasma right there. Now, why am I talking about this? Because it all relates to the Taurid meteor shower. The Taurids are an annual meteor shower associated with the comet Enki, named after the radiant point in the constellation Taurus, where they seem to come from in the sky. And because of their occurrence in October and November, they are called the Halloween fireballs. Enki and the Taurids are believed to be the remnants of a much larger comet, which has disintegrated over the past 20 to 30,000 years breaking into several pieces and releasing material by normal cometary activity, and perhaps occasionally by close encounters with the tidal forces of Earth. 
Comet Whipple, etc. I think these pieces are part of this system or a similar system, and one that's caused the cataclysm uh, 12,900 years ago may be part of this because we have Enki coming up in the historical past, especially with the Sumerians. This is definitely related. And what I'm going to suggest is that we may be coming into a heavier area of more larger material of this torrid meteor shower. The last piece was Tunguska. Now we've had two pieces come pretty close. But this is just speculation. So let's get back more into this uh, asteroid. It's just far enough away to miss satellites which orbit at 22,000 miles above Earth. This is supposed to pass at 27,000 miles. There's a picture of it. We know for sure there is no possibility of this object to hit Earth. I love how sure these people are. The asteroid is dubbed 2012 TC4 because it first passed by in October. It's between 15 and 30 meters long and is traveling at a speed of about 9 miles per second. There are satellites as far as 3,600 kilometers out, so this may interact with some objects out there. Come over here and see if we can get uh, some more information here. Earthly observations indicated it could come as close as 4,200 miles from the Earth's surface. <laughs> Guys, it's a heads up on this asteroid. Its closest approach is going to be on the 12th of October, which I can't find that in any of these articles. The date is on the tip of my tongue, though. Oh, here it is. Speed's passed on October 12th. So we'll keep an eye on this as it gets closer, if anything changes. Um, but just remember, folks, NASA's going to save us. They're going to shoot this billion-dollar pebble if ever a rock were to come near us and save our lives. There it is. One more time. Oh, thank you, NASA. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this with like-minded people. Be safe.